Hey everyone, I'm back for a big, big thank you video for hitting 200 subs. I want to do something a little bit different for it. Um, we hit it pretty quick, that was awesome. I hope you guys have been enjoying the shorts and uh, just all the Korean openings. We're going to be doing a little bit of opening today from English product, but I thought for 200 subs we could do my childhood binder reveal after our opens. There's some, you know, nothing too crazy in here. It's just this is the absolute full collection of cards that I pulled as a kid. It's nothing crazy, but we're going to get into that after we do some openings. I've got a couple of cards that are my prize possessions. One's kind of wild, one's just kind of simple, but nothing crazy. But we're going to warm up with a little bit of Scarlet and Violet era stuff. We're going to do a couple of different sets here. The only thing I don't have is some 151 at the moment, but, well, not to open, but uh, anyways, I'm going to open up some Scarlet and Violet, how they evolve, Obsidian Flames, a couple Paradox Rift, and I saw this poor little damaged ball here at uh, the bottom shelf at the Walmart, and I'm like, you know what? I That's it. That's going to be the one, some kind of magic or something, but anyways... Let's rip straight into some Scarlet and Violet Base. This is a set I have probably opened less than 20 packs of, but it's no big deal. Let's see if we can pull any things. Got the code card for you guys. Here. Alright. See. I remember, new gen is always one to the front here. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Got a Drowsy, a Nimona, a Lechonk, a Youngster, Blissey, Jock, Energy Retrieval Reverse, a Rare Candy Reverse, and... Oh, look at that! Oink Along EX already starting off strong. I actually did not prepare my sleeves for this one. Let me... Get out a little bit of what I have left for sleeves. Just grab this little bunch right there. That should be fine. And then, not bad. Put our pulls up here in the sun. All right. How they evolved is a set that treated me terribly. I tried to open as much as I could afford, and it just never was going too good. But I don't think I've pulled anything crazy. No, I did pull that uh, Qua Quavel uh, EX uh, illustration. Rare. Get that code. Here you go. All right. Let's see what we got here. Magikarp. Slowpoke. Litleo. Rock Ruff. Luxio. Mas Mabostif, Pupitar, Murkrow, Magnemite, and a Holodo Gyarados. Pulled like 50,000 of those Holodo Gyaradoses, for sure. Alright. City and Flames, another set I have not opened that much of. Let's see if we can get lucky. I have had a very hard time with sleeves in this generation. For sure, City of Flames. Uh, let's do it. All right. Pidgey, Litwick, a Young Goose, Charmander, Brassius. Oh, nice looking Magnezone, Crabomitable, Benizen, Barboach, and oh, Houndstone EX. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Now we're moving into four Paradox Rift. Oh, let's just put the trash down there. All right. Let's see. All right. Here we go. Alright. Tinkatuff. Trubbish. 
Crustle, Onyx, a Gorkgeist, Tatsuri, Vanillix, Defiance Vest, Porcario, and a Hollow Wotion. Right. Go ahead and pull the rest of these Paradox Rifts out. Alright. See. Get any big hitters. That Roaring Moon would be crazy. Such a beautiful card. Here is code. Alright. One. I hadn't bought a whole lot of the Paradox Rift. The first batch of the Paradox Rift that got stocked at my one of my local stores, it was just the packs were all messed up from the factory, and I bought it at a box store, so it's not like resealed stuff or anything. It was just insane. I was getting like some some packs only had seven cards in them and no hollows or nothing, and then some packs had 14, 15 cards. Like I bought the packs like right in a row, and just every pack was messed up. So I kind of waited until like the next batch to like I bought a couple of these, of course, and then. Nothing else crazy since then. Mostly just been opening the Korean. <clears throat> Absolutely love the Korean product. It's great quality, good price. Volcanion? Really can't beat it. I'm actually going to be opening some more sets. We've got, I'd like, to, I think, roughly seven, eight more days on our uh, uh, Space Juggler and. Um, Starbirth set, and then we'll be moving into uh, some more sets, but I'm not sure what I want to open next. If anyone has a suggestion of a set they'd like to see open, something more newer, Sword and Shield, that for uh, modern, then just let me know. Bound Sweet, Feebas, and we'll see what we can do. A Pump, oh, Galvantula, I'm pulling to Norman, Size Lazar, Toad Scroll, love Toad Scroll, Toad Scroll, Shark Cadet, Woshian and Steelix Hollow. As always, those sleeve boosters are always treating me terrible. Alright. We're going to bust into this damaged tin. Hopefully the packs won't be super messed up. Oh, here we go. Stickers. Oh man, these things look terrible. Silver Tempest, Fusion Strike, and a Lost Origin, actually, for you guys. I think that's the C23 tents there. So the most recent print runs of those. Alright, I'm gonna save the Lost Origin for actually Fusion Let's do Silver Tempest first. Imagine if this is what I pulled a Lugia out of last time was one of these tins. I think I've been seeing a couple of people like Quite a bit of those Lugia alts that started like just getting put back in the back in circulation. This is going crazy. All right, this always messes me up with these uh these cards, but I think it's this. Yeah. All right, a Karakarak, Anorith. See here, Meowstic, Vulpix, Molga, Chan Chao, Veneri, Drowsy. Oh, we do have a pull, Sandile, and. Oh, no way! Oh, the full art. Nice. Good. Oh, yeah, I got one more sleeve right here for the ready. Beautiful card. Ooh, man. Look at the centering at the top of and bottom. Holy hell. That is... Oh, oh man. Still a nice-looking card, though. On almost... I think it just barely dodged the print dots on that one. Actually, can you? I'm not entirely positive you see print dots on the uh, top to bottom. Hmm, not sure. See here. Get into the Lost Origin pack. It's gonna be our dear Tina. I just know it. Here's a code. Let's see four. Love this era so much. All right, Sligu, Electric. Riley, oh, Snover, Rhyhorn, Apop, Brazilia, Gumi, 
Oh, nice little cast form trainer gallery. Oh, love cast form, such a classic. And Cramorant non hollow, beautiful cast form. Gonna have to get more sleeves here because I did not prepare myself. Oh, nope, never mind. I've got an entire stack of ETB sleeves right here. I don't usually use ETB sleeves, but it'll do for now. All right. And Fusion Strike. Let's see if we can pull that big Gengar. I've been wanting that Gengar. Well, I've got one Gengar that I purchased, but I haven't pulled the Gengar. I would really like to see the Gengar. All right, here we go. I do see... Actually, I'm not positive if I see something or not. Wigglytuff, Phalanx, Darmanitan, oh, Muna, Meow, Meryl, Helioptile, Wooloo, Shinx, and uh, oh, non hollow Excel Gore. It's not too bad, not too bad. Out of the amount of packs, I guess it wasn't too awful. I will definitely take that ho o -Oh for sure. I love full arts. I have a sweet spot for full arts since that's mostly what I used to chase when I first got back into collecting. So that's nice. All right, and now we're going to get into the big reveal of the childhood binders all right guys this is my binder from when i was a very very young watching some of the first episodes that ever aired i think this binder actually came from a blockbuster it's definitely a little worn and dirty from over time just chilling in my old room that i pulled out uh and then brought with me now and uh, let's just break into it. I just want to say thank you, all of you, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the shorts. I hope you continue to watch. Enjoy with, enjoy it. Just I can't thank everybody enough for watching. Let's get into my childhood binder. Feel free to share with me some of your big pulls as kids, ones that you still have, if you still have your binders. Uh, it's just it's awesome to see some of these old collections. Like I said, there's nothing crazy in here. But it, they're all still special to me. I've only ones I've pulled out are some of the ones that I pulls I really cared about from back then. But uh, I just got them up now for my personal collection that I keep out. But I couldn't have the heart to take them out of this old ring binder just because they were the ones that I pulled. But we've got all kinds of this random sets here. Not really a lot of hollows, but I mean, hell, a lot of hollows didn't really go around back then either. A little Jirachi Black Star promo. Not even sure which promo that is. A movie, maybe? It might have been from the movie. I'm not positive. Got some base set two. Good bit of base set two. Some, I'm not going to lie, I don't know all set symbols. Because I'm only familiar with up until, I think, Team Rocket. And then everything after Team Rocket is just like kind of a weird blurry, like Delta Species type stuff and on. I know a few Contramaquapolis and stuff, but... Um, we got there. See, Jim Heroes, Sabrina Gasly. Uh, I think this is German. No, not even sure. I had a lot of like German cards. I don't know if they just like were around in like little like uh, uh, third party like bundles that you used to get. But got unknown here. I, I, I typed sorted these when I was a kid. So, like, I guess we'll go through each page here. Here are some of the fire types and stuff that I did. Let's see, Entei. Got some Blaine's Growlithe. Some Charmander base set. Uh, not sure which set the Entei was from. I, I kind of remember. Oh, actually, that Entei is in German as well. I have a lot of German cards. We're surprising amount of German cards here. Over here, we've got some of my old pages here are messed up. Uh, Abra, Dark Kadabra. I guess that's one of the Kadabras before they stopped printing him. I'm not sure which Kadabra was the last one that they stopped printing. Ghastly, base set two. Trico, Delta Species. Abra, Abra, Drowsy. Just, you know, a lot of base set two Team Rocket era stuff. Here, nothing too crazy. A lot of repeats and my commons and stuff. Japanese Helm Door. 
Cyndaquil. Not sure what the three star set. Little three stars is. I just don't remember. There's a gem here. Is Blaine's Charmander there? I definitely, I don't think, I don't have really have any first edition. Uh, other than like things I've purchased, I, I, don't, I really don't have a lot of first edition cards. Here's Dark Kadabra, Japanese Espeon, E-Reader. Beautiful card. Probably one of my favorite sets of all time next to uh, Team Rocket is um, a Gym Heroes and Team Rocket are my favorite vintage earlier sets. And then at my favorite collection, like, I guess special collection, I guess it's like the Southern Isles collection is definitely one of my favorites. I was, thought, I was thinking about actually putting that collection together because I still have the old binder, but uh, I am missing a few of the cards, though. Um, I think just the Mew and the Vileplume. Got a random dirt and stuff here. Tayursa. Got some Fossil Basic 2, Lick Tongue. Another German. I think it's a German... It looks German. Uh, Dragonite here. All right. Water. Got our Cedra. What's that Cedra from? Fossil Cedra, right? A lot of these later sets, like when this Rimmer Raid and Deli Bird, I guess like a lot of third gen sets. I'm just not, I was never really opened. I, I I opened a few, and then that was it. Which is Rimmer Raid second or third? I'm pretty sure it's third. Kingler, let's see here, got some, oh, it's Southern Isles collection, Southern Isles, I need to put all these Southern Isles together, to be honest, or I might just buy a minty, a minty set, I've really been wanting a minty set of Southern Isles, there's some more Gym Heroes, Meowthy, I love e-readers, super sweet spot for e-reader cards, I mean, who doesn't love e-reader cards, they just <laughs> look so good, like some of the best looking cards they ever did, I think I should get a little reverse Magnemite here, that a reverse? It's hard to tell in the lighting in that graph. I think pretty sure it is. All right, definitely some different names here that I, that I definitely cannot pronounce. Carapus, Hypo Trim. Is that Spanish? So I'm not sure. Psycho Quack. That sounds awesome, actually. More Lord. That's so funny. Seeing them in different, these different names. Oh, so many German cards. I don't even know how they got into our circulation back then, either. A Red Attack Obscure. Alright. It's so funny. You can really tell I played hard with some of these cards, but they're actually not in the worst condition, because I sleeved these things up. I mean, they're not in penny sleeves or anything, but I mean, who, who penny sleeves cards in 2000? You know, 2000, 2001. Got her Sweet Coon Forever movie. Love that movie. Some fossils. So they're Niles Tentacruel. Let's see. A couple more German cards. Japanese Togepi, e reader. A Pharaoh, a very damaged Pharaoh with a J on it. So if anyone ever sees this and sees a J, I have your Pharaoh. I didn't write that. That's so funny. Got our Pidgeot from Southern Isles. Got a little bit more Southern Isles over here. Some Fossil. Base set 2. Let's see. Got a lot of repeats. Another J. Been mark he was definitely marking his cards. Or, my, or I guess it could have been a female too. I don't know. J could have been a lot of different things. A lot of different names. Look at Pidgeot here, or, yeah, or Pidgeotto, actually. No, Pidgeot, Pidgeot, Talboga. Actually, that looks German, too, but I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Got a little Jungle Eevee. Good, I love that little Eevee. Some more Southern Isles. I gotta put this, I, I really should put my Southern Isles collection together. For sure. Look at a Lombre. Oh, man. See, yeah, a lot of repeats. Seedra, Zoomerill E-Reader. A lot of repeat Southern Isles. Got a couple dark rocket cards here. Dark Wheezing, non hollowed version. Uh, some Gym Heroes. Let's see. I actually did have a, a, a stack of cards that 
did belong with all of these as well, but I lost them when I was a kid. Set them down and someone else ran off with them when I was at school. I do remember because I had a hollow unlimited um, Alakazam. I missed that card a lot. Misty's Dugong. Southern Isles. Too bad. Love Gem Heroes. I really, really want to rip a Gem Heroes pack again. I love when they base the, the or like you know, put the trainer with the mon. It just it's kind of personal from the show for me. Nostalgic. A lot of you know how it is. See here, definitely so many different languages is so funny. Actually, I think the majority is German. Probably one of those third party like little bins and tins and stuff back in the day, like little. I guess I don't know if uh, is it. Hold, Holdings was still doing it back then, or not, I'm not sure. I guess they were, MJ Holdings been around for a long time. Got some Team Rocket cards, nothing too crazy. Let's see. Onyx, Southern Isles, yeah, I've almost got a whole Southern Isles collection in here. Did I, did I skip two pages? No, I don't think one. Here, got our Ma Chuck. Got another J, whoever you are. I've got your cards. I don't, I couldn't tell you where they come from. But they're all in very poor condition. Not sure where those cards come from. Oh, a little bit more Southern Isles here. Erica's Weeping Barrel. Butter, nice looking butter tree. Erica's Oddish. Nice. Paris. Love Paris. Always like this artwork on Onyx. Let's see. Oh, Magneton down there. Rocket's Meowth. Not sure what that Meowth is. Is that reverse Meowth? Is that just a. No, I don't think. Nah, it's not. I'm actually sure what, if that comes from Rocker, or if it's part of the movies or specialty sets or what, actually. Oh, well, that, I really like the artwork on that Paris. Alright, got our Machop boy. Alright, Tyro. Raichu e-reader. Alright, Raichu Raichu. <laughs> Little jungle red cheeks Pikachu right here. Let's see, we got some Shuckle, a Jolteon, another language, of course, a Wadi, <laughs> Arcanine, Erica's Glue, Southern Isles Executor, and Butterfree. Too bad, not too bad. Let's see, Erica's executor there. I don't even have it with the execute. That's funny. I was just trying to get them colors together and I kind of failed at that too. It's actually on this page. All right, coming right here to the last page here. Something like grass. You know, a lot of repeats, a lot of Southern Isles. Erica's Oddish. Koga's Coughing. But, yeah. And a random penny sleeve. But, that is my childhood binder. I don't get rid of anything from this period. And I have... These are two that I did pull from the binder. This is my one of my favorites. Just that reverse slow king from Southern Isles collection. I do not have the Mew or the Vile Plume. I, I definitely need to finish getting the rest.
Love this Slow King because I love Slow Bro. It's one of my favorites at my, out of my top six from Gen 1. Since I rate, like, a, I build, like, a, my, a favorite team for each generation. And then my absolute f pride here is my Nido King. Hollow E-Reader. It's actually not in the worst condition ever. All these scratches are on this magnet case. But I absolutely love this card. Beautiful card. And definitely my biggest pull from childhood Pokemon related. Probably my biggest pull ever. Not including my Lugia and some of my modern alt arts that you can even compare. But, yep, that is my childhood collection. I think I've still, I, there might be a few reverses th thrown about in places from e-readers. I mean, a couple that I've got tossed around that I'm not even sure where they are. But, um, yeah, I can't think if there's anything else. Not really, I got wild amount of Yu-Gi-Oh! because I've actually spent most of my time playing and collecting Yu-Gi-Oh! from like probably 2002 up. Uh, especially when uh, the uh, Legendary, was it Legendary 10s? Well, you know, I did the Red Eyes 10 and the they did the Dark Magician 10 and then the Guild for Delight because I've got a lot of those cards from those 10s. But, um, yeah. But this is the big little snippet of personal collection. I'd love to hear what some of y'all's big pulls were as kids, too, if you're interested. i am just love to hear it. I really appreciate y'all. I cannot stress it enough that you guys have helped me hit 200 subs. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed everything. We're going to keep it going. I got a lot more Korean to get so that we can open. I got some more little tidbit stuff that we can open. Hopefully, eventually... We can move into some larger, bigger things. I'd really like to do that. But English is expensive and getting worse. Well, not really, because Potty Evolved is a... Or not Potty Evolved. Scarlet and Violet Air is actually pretty cheap, if you don't include 151, of course. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for helping me hit 200. If you want to watch more... Make sure you hit that notification bell, like the video, and please leave a comment of what some of your favorite pulls ever has been that you can just never get rid of. Alright, thank you. Hope you all have a good day.